America is a melting pot. It's been that way when it started and it'll be that way when it ends. And with the melting pot comes many different things like different beliefs and ideologies and religions. Whether well, it's Christianity, Buddhism, Hinduism, Catholicism. If you're a Mormon or if you are part of the Church of, the church of Scientology, each religion is given their own specific holidays where they're allowed, where they go and celebrate whatever it is they celebrate. Now, a holiday is considered any time off from work um, to recreate festivities, to celebrate, you know, as I said, whatever it is they believe in. Then there are national, and those are like religious holidays. Then there are national holidays. National holiday is as a holiday that has been established by law as time off from work to celebrate a significant event in history or within a particular um, area. Uh, whether it's Columbus Day, 4th of July, St. Patrick's Day, Cinco de Mayo, they're all considered public holidays. Banks are closed, kids don't gotta go to school. Uh, nowadays, three out of those four holidays have become drinking holidays as it is. So the reason I'm telling you this, and I'm here, is to inform you that we're actually missing out on what could be the biggest national holiday of them all. What am I talking about? Well, it's actually, it happens on Monday, February 3rd, and it's called Super Sick Monday. Super Sick Monday is the day after the Super Bowl. Um, this year, the Super Bowl is held in Miami, Florida, a place known for sunny beaches, bright lights, and nightlife. Um, this year, it would be the high-scoring Kansas City Chiefs for this, the shutdown defense of the San Francisco 49ers. Regardless of your religion, your ideology, your beliefs, your ethnicity, there's a good chance you're gonna be partaking in the Super Bowl and its festivities in some way, shape, or form. Whether you're rooting for the Chiefs, whether you're rooting for the 49ers, whether you're rooting for the commercials to be the best they've ever been, or you're there just for the free food and drinks at your buddy's party, you will be taking part in the Super Bowl festivities. Now, the reason I'm bringing up uh, this is because it's actually causing America more problems than it realizes. Um, football has been America's biggest sport for since I can remember, and it's probably going to be that way for a very long time. And as the Super, as the Super Bowl gets bigger and the world seems to get smaller, uh, it only calls for more and more people to miss days off of work. What do I mean by that? Well, in 2018, an HR consulting firm actually uh, reported that an estimate, a little over 16 million people uh, missed work um, the day after the Super Bowl, the causing their employers over $3 billion in revenue. I don't know about you, but if I was at work and I lost my employer $3 billion, I'm not sure if I'd be working there anymore. Um, and the trend is not slowing down whatsoever. This year, uh, it's estimated that over 17 million people are going to be missing work. 11 million of those people will be good employees and call in sick uh, or use their vacation days well in advance. Another 4.7 million will call in sick the day of, say they have food poisoning or coronavirus. And another 1.5 million just simply won't even show up to work. Um, that doesn't even account for all the college and high school students who won't be making it in, into classes the next day either. Um, this trend isn't just for working adults or kids in school, it's, it's everyone in America. Uh, there's a high school student in New York who started a petition, and he, had to, he started a petition to have Super Bowl Sunday moved to the first Saturday of February, so that February 2nd could be used as Sunday, as a rest day. Um, when he started out, he asked for 75,000 signatures, and he's already over 70,000. So regardless if you are in very cold and distant North Dakota, uh, rainy and wet Seattle, or if you're on the beach in sunny Miami, um, there's a good chance you'll be taking in Super Bowl festivities, and I encourage you to find a good excuse not to make it into work that day.